this computer. And I'm going to share my screen um, for you. Should I just should I share my screen, or, or are you happy to look at the at the? Yeah, it's fine. Share your screen. I think it's better. Is it better? Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So we're up here. Okay. So I want to look at inheritance gotchas as instance of what can we cast into and which methods can be called when. Okay. So what I want you to do quickly. Um, I want you to just look at this. Let's look at, there's a few scenarios here, okay? Let's start with this one. Let's look at this code, okay? Oh, okay. I need to make sure they're grouped. Um, so looking at this one, okay? Um, So if you so so what I have here at the bottom, okay. So I've created a few classes, okay, and I've tried to make the inheritance hierarchy visible for you, okay. So we start off by a basic class called pizza, okay. You might might kind of um, pick up some errors because I didn't run this code yet in IntelliJ. So so if you look at this code, okay. What can you see? So all these classes that we have, okay? What can you tell me about a veggie pizza, a meat pizza, and a chicken pizza? If you just look at these kind of sticky notes that we have here, what do they all have in common? Uh, they're all pizza, so I'm assuming they all get their properties from pizza, which pizza being the main class. Yeah, so they, they all have the same base class, okay? So they all have, they all pizza as their base class. Okay, what else can you tell me about these classes? Which other base class do they share? Uh, they, 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 share, they have a super class called pizza and subclasses that can be uh, the, the other ones, which meat, vegetable, and and veggie pizzas. Okay, but the other thing that you need to remember, okay, all of them have a base class of what? Of pizza. Of pizza, but pizza. What's a but what's a um? So if you look at this, pizza extends object. Okay, so pizza has a base class of. Object, okay, by default, okay. So if you look at this, you always you have something like this, okay. So you send it back. So they all have object, okay. We well, I didn't put it in here initially, but they all have it, okay. By default, even if I'm not saying it, they all have that as a base class, okay. Can I, is that object the object created by the Java virtual machine? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. You, yeah, you can't see it. I mean, so it, it is always there. Um, so it's always like that. Okay. It's, it looks so it's like, like, yeah. It, it's the same like the, 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 the empty constructor. Yeah, it's a very similar to the empty constructor. It's always there. Okay. It is okay. always, always kind of there. So we, so the way the code is written, it's it's a bit like the code is written. Pizza extends object, okay, but you can't, you can't see that, okay. Um. So if you look at this code, okay. So I'm giving you. So I'm gonna zoom in here. So I'm just looking at this piece of code here, okay? So if this pause, okay? So this code compiles, okay? What can you tell me about pizza? So if you look at the objects, you can do, you can kind of do a sneak peek at the bottom and pizza check it. Like, so, so pizza is basically, Structure, I suppose, and it just takes an object 
And yeah, so in order for pizza to be run, it has to take an object or an invocation of an object it has to be run. I'm guessing. What are you guessing? What are you guessing? That in order for like pizza to to run or like for pizza to be like yeah, for, for the object to make sense or, or however you want to put it, it has to take in a different object, which is a specific kind of pizza object. Uh, yeah. Okay. But what, are you, what can you say? Well, so in this case, okay, so if I create a, a, a meat pizza, okay, so, so what, what can you tell me about the type of pizza? Because I just, I basically told you that I've got something called pizza, okay? So I've, so I've got pizza here. I don't know the type. For all that I care, it's an object, okay? Object pizza, okay? But I'm telling you that I can take this pizza, okay, this is equal to, equal to something, okay? And what I'm telling you is that I can do the following and it works okay. So I can actually go here and I can do this, control shift V, A, control shift. I can do this, okay? So now what can you tell me about this object. So what's actually happened here on this side? What's the options? How many different options are there for me that I could have done for this to be a valid thing to do based on your object model that I've given you here? So I could have said, so if I say new, new pizza, okay, would this be a valid thing if I'm allowed to do this? So if I, if I do this, okay, will this line compile? Yeah, oh, yeah, it actually will because uh, pizza is inheriting uh, um, from objects. So you're calling the, 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 this actually what I want, this is the question I was asking as, as well. Um, so basically you're calling in a subclass from um, a superclass. So basically pizza is inheriting from object and you're calling pizza or initializing pizza through object. That is a question I wanted to ask. But I think it will compile because pizza is a subclass of object. So therefore it will compile because it is referencing object. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but yeah. Okay, any other thoughts on this? Any other thoughts on this? So if we look at this, what do we have, okay? So I'm creating a new pizza. So if we look at these colors, okay? So I say I, I have an orange sticky note, okay? I basically have these two, okay? I am saying that I am creating a pizza and I'm referencing it using an object, okay? So I have this. I have this. Does that make sense? I have an object here that is pointing to, to this, okay? When I'm creating it, this is what I'm doing, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah, yes, it does. Okay. So now what I'm asking you is, can I now take this and all of a sudden I can say that this is what? This is a meat pizza. Okay. So I say a meat pizza. Now I say a meat pizza. That this pizza here can actually now all of a sudden become a meat pizza. Is that valid or not? Mm, no. I think it's um, not. What? Um, I also think it's not. I think not. it is valid because... 
can I give my reasons why I think it's valid? Because object pizza is basically an object. It's from object, and then meat pizza is a type of pizza. So it's kind of like it. It's a has a or is a relationship. So yeah, that pizza you, is a object. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. But I mean, it can be. But given the code I've given you, okay, is, uh, does a pizza know anything about a meat pizza? No, like you no, can't, no, I think you oh, can't. Yeah. You code. can't assign pizza into meat pizza if um, you you didn't point it to meat pizza at first. Ah, okay. You see, you see. So when a pizza was created, okay. In the beginning, okay, it was only two things, okay. It was actually an object, okay. So it was an object, and it was a pizza, okay. So, so that's the only things that we have, okay. So, so if we do this, we say I am a pizza, and I'm an object, and. I can be referenced by either one of those two, okay? I can use an object to reference me, or I can use a pizza, because when I was created, I was only created as a pizza and an object, okay? Mm -hmm. so, so what I'm asking you here, so if I'm, if I'm telling you here, if this, if this pass, okay? If I'm allowed to do this, okay? What would, if, if I say this is a valid statement, what would I actually have had to do? I would have had to say something like this, meat pizza, okay? And then what I'm doing is it basically means that I'm creating an object. I'm creating an instance of a class, so object that is this thing, okay? It can be an object, it can be a pizza, or it can be a meat pizza, okay? So that means that's valid. So meaning that I can use the reference, I can also do something like this, okay? So initially it's an object, okay? But I can also, I can also say that I want to do something like this, that I want to use pizza, okay? And then I do pizza like that, okay? So, if I do this, meat pizza, then I can use, I can reference it using a pizza, I can referencing it using a meat pizza, but I can't reference it, if it's only a pizza, I can't reference it using a meat pizza. So, depending on the new, okay, that determine what's valid things that can reference that. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So, so now looking at this code over here, okay. Um, if this fails, okay, what can you tell me? It's the same thing. What is that? Tell me the same thing. <laughs> so we need to create an instance of chicken pizza. Mm -hmm. So if I'm telling you that cost fails, what can you tell me? What can you tell me for sure and what can you tell me maybe? So I'm coming here. So I'm telling you that it, I'm telling you that this doesn't work. Okay. So you're telling me that it's not a chicken pizza. Okay. So it, it's, it doesn't. So if, if I go, if I go to this, okay. And I say instance of chicken pizza, is that going to return true or false? It'll be false. Okay, so that will return false, okay? So you can definitely tell me that, okay? So if I were to give in your code, let me see if I can make this 75%. Um, so if, if I were to go here and I said uh, pizza, and I say instance, instance of, is it like that? Beans, instance of chicken pizza. So if this statement here doesn't compile, then this statement will return what, what true or false? If this doesn't compile, what will this statement return? Okay. 
but it, but it won't run, okay, because this line won't compile. But just in general, okay, if this line don't compile, then this will return false, okay? So instance of will basically check, do I, am I, do I have, am I instance of this, of this object? So in my chain, in my object chain, is there, is there a chicken pizza, okay? And if this fails, it means it's not, so this will return false. Wait, 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 Andrew, you're saying it will return false instead of not compiling, or you are saying it will compile and return false? Well, I mean, this is, so this code, it will actually compile, but it will fail at runtime, okay? Okay. Because it was trying to cast it and it won't work, okay? But I'm just saying these two things, if this returns false, this won't cost, okay? Okay. So, um, does, does this make sense that we just did? Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. I see it. I see. So, so the way this works, okay, so I'm starting with a pizza, okay? And I'm saying here, so in this case, pizza has a base met method. Um, and then I have, so I'm starting with pizza, okay? Then I'm saying... A pizza have two subclasses. What are the two subclasses of a pizza? Uh, meat pizza and chicken pizza. Uh, you're or veggie pizza. Sure? Oh, meat pizza or veggie uh, pizza. So what's the subclasses Subclass of pizza? pizza yeah. Is veggie pizza and meat pizza. Are you knowing that or are you guessing that? I think. <laughs> okay. So you have, so I mean, we have, so, <laughs> so, so, we, so we have these two, okay? So we have, it's a bit like this, okay? So we've got yeah. our pizza up here, okay? So we've got our pizza and then we've got uh -huh. a sub subclass below that, which is meat pizza and veggie pizza, okay? So both of those two, yeah or instances of, so they are basically pizza. I can use pizza to reference this and pizza to reference this, okay? So, and now, yeah. so what is chicken pizza? Subclass of meat pizza. It's a subclass of? Meat pizza. Meat pizza, okay. So can veggie pizza be a reference to a, Chicken pizza. pizza. No. no. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it can't be because you see nowhere in its chain, the veggie pizza, veggie pizza knows nothing about chicken pizza. Okay. So, so can a pizza be a reference to a chicken pizza? Yeah. You see it can because in its chain, it, it is actually a pizza. Okay. It's a very specific type of pizza, but it can also be a pizza, okay? Okay. Any questions about that at this point? Yeah. <laughs> but this one, I think this is what I was saying earlier on, but just different English, but yeah. Uh -huh. But the problem that you were saying earlier is you, you were kind of saying here that a pizza so, so, so the thing is, there's two parts to it here, okay? So there's, and, and this is kind of thing, there's, the, there's the, ob the object type and the reference type. So the, the important thing is object type is on the right, okay? And reference type is on the left, right. okay? Yeah, okay. So, 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 so that's a very right. import, important concept here. So it's object type, object type, versus reference type. Okay, so that's a very important concept and you were kind of mixing them up earlier, I think. Um, so the important thing here is to actually, it's kind of the other way around. The reference type is on the left, okay? And the object type is on the right, okay? Because when the reference type 
is kind of flexible, okay? Because you could, the reference type could be anything that is valid in the chain. The reference type can be object pizza or meat pizza in this case, okay? So I can use an object to reference something and then the, the object type is the part where I'm doing the new, okay? New, okay, mm -hmm. the, the new side, if that makes sense, okay? That's where I've done the new, okay? So, so that's an object type, okay? So in this case, I ask you, um, okay, now that's a separate one that I'm doing here. Um, this was this one over here. We'll get to that one now. Um, I was asking you if this pizza was created as a pizza, okay? So if the object type is a pizza, it can't suddenly become a meat pizza by casting, okay? Or it can't become a chicken pizza. If the reference type is an object and the type is a pizza, okay, then I can cast the pizza as a pizza, okay? But I can't cast that into the other side, okay? So this, this brings me to this one, okay? Let's look at this scenarios over here, okay? So we have here, so is this valid, first of all? So let's see, which ones of these ones are valid? So casting, so I've got three pizzas, okay? What is the reference type for reference type for these pizzas? Which object? The reference type is sitting on which side? On the left. On the okay. left. So they're all because, the uh, same. The reference type is all pizzas, okay? Pizza, yes. pizza, pizza, one, two, and three, okay? So now I'm asking you the following, okay? So there's a bit of a typo here. So I'm going to say M1, M2, and C3, okay? Or oh, let me call this one C1 for chicken one, okay? So I'm asking you, so this, this code, okay, here, is this valid? Yes, it's valid. So is this one valid? So anybody? Mm -hmm. So let, let's just get like, let's get your, uh, let, let's, Yes, it is. Let's get your, this one is valid. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's quickly get all your hands down. Okay. Um, lower all hands. If you think that's valid, just put up your hand. Oh, for your hand was up before I even ask. Okay. So this one we're saying that pizza two, okay. Why do you say that's valid? Why can I cast something where the object type is a chicken pizza into a meat pizza? Why is that valid? That, that, that's because, because uh... so I've got a chicken, so I've got a chicken pizza, okay. And a chicken pizza is actually a meat pizza, okay? So a chicken yes. pizza can be casted into a meat pizza. meat pizza, okay? And the reference type for a chicken pizza can be chicken pizza, meat pizza, pizza or an object, okay? So you say the first one is? Valid. Yes, valid. Valid, okay. Cool, so I agree with you, okay? So let's look at this one. Okay, so now it's invalid. Huh? It's invalid. It's invalid. Why is it <laughs> why is it invalid? Because three is is a veggie pizza, so and then you can't cast any pizza in it. Okay, so I'm here. Okay, so veggie pizza. Okay, it's not a meat pizza. Okay, so it can't be casted into a meat pizza. So this is in valid, okay? Okay, so let's look at this one, okay? Is this one valid or invalid? Yes, it's valid. Yes, it is valid because, uh, wait, wait, wait. It depends if the, 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 
the chicken pizza it's in the same hierarchy as the, the meat pizza but so from I'm the from this example it's not because meat pizza is just meat pizza there's, there's nothing below it yeah exactly so meat pizza is just a meat pizza okay when when the when the object type was created it was created as a meat pizza okay yeah. so, so over here i'm saying this is a meat pizza okay now i can't change it by changing the reference type into, um, into this i mean so there's even i mean it's even a typo here i mean so i, I mean i should actually have done this um control v okay oh you wanted to <laughs> Yeah, but we're able to figure it out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so at this, point, at this point in time, what questions do you have about these examples? Anything you want to clarify? Anything you're not sure about? Uh, so it goes to costing um, reference types and object types, basically. Um, does it work the same way as basically it moves with hierarchy? So, for example, when we look at um, what you call the example we have over there, we can cost, um, what, what can I say? Can we cost moving downwards, basically? So, we can say that pizza is an object, is a pizza, but can we also, but I understand that, but is it possible to say that? Pizza is a meat pizza, an object is pizza. I'm not sure if that makes sense. Okay, so, so, so let, let's kind of do that slowly. Okay, I'm going to type what you're saying. So you're going to tell me again quickly. Okay, just say that again. So my question is regards to costing of object reference, references. Mm -hmm. So looking at the example we have, we can, we can see that object is main reference or the main um the base as the base object and pizza is an object meat pizza is a pizza and mm -hmm. so so on so when costing we can say that pizza is an object and then meat pizza is a pizza but is it is it possible to go backwards and say that uh pizza is a meat pizza an object is a, is a pizza. So is it basically possible to revert, to go backwards in costing? In costing, it, yeah, so, 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 so it is possible, okay? So if you do like this, okay? So you say new meat pizza, okay? So, so, so if, if I do something like this, okay? And I say meat pizza, okay? And I say MP like that, okay? Then I can do object and I can say O equal MP, okay? So I can do that, okay? And then I can say pizza B equal MP, okay? So, and then I can even do MP, MP2 equals MP, okay? But I can't do this. Mm -hmm. I can't say chicken pizza CP equals MP. And then I can't do this. Because, because meat pizza was never a chicken pizza, okay? So I can't do this. This is okay. Mm -hmm. This is okay, this is okay, and this is also okay, but this is not okay. So as long as you think in hierarchies, that's what I want you to think about, okay? So you, okay. Need, to th you okay. need to think like this, okay? When the object type is created, what's included in its hierarchy? So... Object. So then object can be a reference to this because it's a meat pizza. Pizza can be a reference. Meat pizza can be a reference, but not nothing else. Okay. What other questions okay. do you have here? If anything. So Andre, for chicken pizza C1 equals to that um, chicken pizza one. 
to be valid? Do we need to say uh, meat pizza, maybe something is equal to new chicken pizza? Absolutely, so absolutely. Yes, yeah, so and now if you do that, okay. then these other things are still valid because our object still can reference a chicken pizza. Pizza is still a chicken pizza. Meat pizza is still a chicken pizza. And then this one here at the bottom, it comes OK. 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 And the important thing for you, is, I think, is to go and try this out, OK? Write the code. Write these little pizza objects and satisfy your, um, <laughs> your, 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 your hunger. <laughs> But try it out and also come back to me and tell me, hey, maybe there's an error here or why didn't this work or, you know, what, what, okay? Does this, does this scenario make sense? Yeah. Any other questions here? Okay, so now let's look at this one, okay? So if this fails, okay, what can you tell me about pizza? So you can roam the board, okay? If this works fine, I'm telling him running this code and it's working fine. Then that means veggies is a type of pizza, but if it fails, it means veggies is not a type of pizza. Uh, look again. You're looking at the pizza.veggies example, all right? Sorry? You're looking at the, oh, okay. I was just looking at one side, I didn't see the other side, my bad. What can you tell me about pizza if that doesn't work? That pizza doesn't know about veggies. Okay. So that, mean, so that means what? So that means pizza is definitely not? What? It's definitely not a what, what pizza? An object. Huh? It's not an object. It's a... Um... Uh, Maybe a, a class. It says no, it's, a, a sub it's not a super class. No, I, that, that veggie is, is with those calibrations, it's like it, it's, a, it's a comma. It's a method, I mean. That veggie looks like a method. And if it's a pizza dot, so what that means means you must have created an object. So look, look here, okay? So look, look at this now, okay? <laughs> So I'm telling you, okay, so pizza, so it is, it, it, we can't see. it huh? doesn't have the veggies method. Yes, and that means what? It's not what? It's not a? Subclass. Subclass? It's not a veggie. It's not a veggie pizza. Pizza. Okay. Oh. You... Oh. Oh. Right. you see, that's the way you need to think. <laughs> You need to kind of see, okay. Okay, so it's not a veggies pizza. If this works, what can you tell me about this pizza? And can you zoom a little bit? Then we do have the veggies. Then we do have the ve veggies, okay. Let's see, that's too much. 85, okay. Now I can probably, can I bring this bad boy down? Hmm. So what? So so if it works, you can see now it's actually a veggie pizza, okay? Because of this. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, veggies is a method from pizza, mm. which from veggies pizza. in the hierarchy it's under pizza. Mm. Is in the same level as meat pizza, and oh. does that make sense? Yes. 
And obviously, I'm kind of, as I say, I'm hinting here as a way that you should be looking at the code, okay? It's a bit like um, trying to see if I can differentiate between the questions and the code samples. Amen, controls it. How can I fix this? Okay. Um, okay, let's look at another one. Um, looking at this, okay. What is printed here? Well, oh, like that. What will be printed by this code? So now I need to read the code and tell me what's going to happen. So, so it would print out um, whatever meaty in meat pizza method has. I mean, if there's a meaty method in meat in meat pizza, and then it's going to print out. Okay, so check ch check my chair. Tell me what's in there. Okay. Look at the code and tell me if you can figure out what's happening. So you go to your own board and kind of navigate your way around. Oh, okay. And then we say, okay, so what will this print? What will this print? And what will this print? This is how you did emojis uh, in the old in the olden days. Something meaty. Soft meaty. So the first one would print something meaty. Okay, so you say yourself son of print something meaty. Why do you say so? Because that method belongs into the meat pizza. Okay, interesting, okay. But will it actually, does pizza have access to the meaty, to meaty, for it to get access? Oh, to, no, it doesn't huh? have meaty, no. <laughs> it doesn't have meaty, okay. No. Okay. So they all won't print. So is it kind of like saying that um, a subclass has access to a superclass properties and methods, but then a superclass doesn't have access to subclass properties. No, it's because um, meat pizza is a reference to pizza. So if pizza doesn't have that method and then it won't print it. Yeah, it won't print it. Because okay. meat pizza is a reference to pizza. Mm -hmm. So this won't actually compile, okay? Mm -hmm. But if, to fix that, what do I need to do? I need to do this, okay? Meat pizza. Will that work? So if I change it to um, that, what will happen? So now it will print. This one, that this one will the second one. I think it will work uh -huh. because um, because meat pizza does have the meaty uh, method, and chicken pizza has the meaty method, but um, it will return soft meat. I think. It will prioritize the, okay, I don't know which one it's gonna prioritize. Okay, any other opinions about this? I think it's gonna prioritize the chicken pizza one. So it's going to print soft media, okay? Yeah. Because it is using, so this is polymorphism, okay? That it's using yeah. this one from the reference type, okay? Yeah. It's finding that one, okay? And what yeah. about the last one? So say, for instance, the last one looked like this, okay? What will the last method do? This one. Um, 
so wet. I don't think it will compile. Mm, okay, so won't compile. Okay, that's a reference valid thing. Okay, um, because veggie pizzas don't have meaty methods. Okay. Yeah. So if we had something like veggies, that would have been okay. Okay. Yeah. So very important. Okay. So it's important to bear in mind that here. We can't reference pizza if we want to access methods. A reference type can't be um, pizza because a method we want to access sits on the meat pizza. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. although the reference type or the object type had the ability to expose that method, we're looking at the object type through the glasses of the reference type so then we can't do it if we want it want it actually so what what we could have done here is we could have done something like this okay we could have said something like this okay so if we do this one p okay i could have actually said something like this and then i will say one so one pizza and i can actually cast this from pizza into a Meat pizza. meat pizza and that's totally valid okay so now i'm saying mm. initially the reference type is a pizza now i'm changing the reference type from pizza to a meat pizza because the underlying type object type is meat pizza that cost is absolutely fine but is that necessary though like can't you just can't we just create a meat pizza object and then use we, that? We can, but I'm just showing you how it did work because I would give you the harder option, you know, so. <laughs> okay. Okay. Any questions about this at this point? You're happy with that? Yeah. Okay, so let's just see. Okay, I think this is... Okay, they've done this one. So let's see, control set. How do I change? I need a font. Okay. Anyway, so now let's look at this one. And I think this is the last one. If we do this, okay. So what's happening here? What will this print? Just keep it this way. How do I change only the one side? So you can kind of. What will this print? So the first one would print. Ace of chicken base. It will. Ace, is it ace? Ace of chicken base. Why do you say so? The first one is a pizza. It, the reference type is reference pizza. Type the opt is opt pizza. The opt. Okay, so it calls the base method on that. Okay, which meat says pizza. what? Ace of chicken base. Okay. Good. Okay. So that one will say ace of chicken base. Okay. Yeah. Which is kind of not nice in a way. This method shouldn't be here. Where should this method be? In chicken pizza. <laughs> okay. So it's probably better if we move this down here and say this because that doesn't make sense there. Okay, so if we yeah. so if we change it like that, what does the first one print? It's 
So what is this? So print? it's gonna print ace of base. Okay. Good. Okay. What does this one print? Ace of which one? The second the one. Second one. So it's gonna print the ace of chicken base. Okay, and the third one. Ace of base. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, cool. Um, because it doesn't have its own method. Uh, what's happening now? It doesn't have its own method, so it prints ace of base. So in this case, we're just saying yeah. it's calling the right the base method on the object type. Okay, pizza yeah. has its has its own base method, but if a subclass overrode it, it will call mm -hmm. the one. Okay, that was in the in that one. Okay. In the sub. Cool. Okay. So. So I've just got a few questions. So what is what is instance of? What does it do? It sees whether or not a ref, an object is an, is reference of another object or is an instance of another thing. Basically, it sees if it has the same reference point. It's a so it's basically checking: Am I instance of another class? Okay. So object is always true. Instance of object is always true for everything, okay? In this case, if I say pizza instance of veggie pizza, then it's checking, am I instance of veggie pizza, okay? So what can, be, what, what can a class be casted into? Could you please repeat the question? What can a class be casted into? It's a very terse question. Very confusing one as well. Um, I think a class can be casted into another, into an object or another class, perhaps. Yeah, but based on what? So I mean, I can. It can be casted into which classes or which. If we let's not talk about interfaces at the moment yet, but let's let's just focus on on um, what can a class be casted into? A class can be casted into any other class. Any other class? That's which what. Is an, uh, a, a super class. Which is a, a which is a super class or subclass of that class? Okay. So it can be yeah. it can be casted up, okay, into a superclass, or it can be casted into a subclass of the so, yeah. So um, casting is only um, enabled by in inheritance. Absolutely, yes. If you so know, there has to be a relationship between the classes. If there's no relationship, so you can't do casting. Absolutely. Very true. Oh, what the heck happened there? Okay, let's see if I can get that back. So absolutely, casting is very important, okay, in the inheritance graph, okay? If there's no relationship, you can't magic something into something, okay? You need to make sure that it is, there is a relationship, okay? Um, what was my other thing? What happened? Where is my class? Zoom out. Sorry, you, you were talking about upcasting and downcasting. That's it. What do you mean? I mean, when you're talking about a subclass, yeah, casted to a superclass. So if I have a veg, if a veggie, I can up upcast it to a object. If I have a veggie pizza that's referenced by object, I can downcast that into a veggie pizza. Oh, yeah. Okay, but you're gonna, which methods are available when on a class? So what, what, what determines which methods are callable on the class? It depends on the, the, the class, the, the which it, it acts to the, the subclass 
which class it extends and mm-hmm. which methods are in that class. But even, so in this case, the reference type determines, okay? Even if the actual object type has a method, the reference type will hide that method, okay? okay. If the reference type is object, you can't call any methods on the veggie pizza, okay? If you have pizza, then you can call all the methods on pizza, even if the underlying object is a veggie pizza. So, and if then you have a meaty pizza, you can call the meaty pizza methods. Although you can't, in this case, if you have veggie, you'll never, a meaty pizza will never be able to reference a, a veggie pizza. So, so, yeah, so you need to be clear on that. Okay. You're going you're gonna, to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, Work a little bit on that. Okay, so let's quickly check your questions out and see which ones of these have we actually answered, okay? What is the benefit of inheriting an interface beside the interface guiding the behavior of your program? So we haven't done interfaces, okay? So I think I'm gonna park that there. Um, when protected variables are inherited, are they inherited as protected or do they access modify chains? Amar, this is your question. Why do you ask this question? I read somewhere that it changes, but I don't know what it changes to, I think. So I think the important thing for you is to try it out. I don't think it changes. Um, so when it's protected, obviously it's protected. Um, yeah, so, so try it out. Given that many subclasses may inherit from superclass, can a subclass be invoked through the superclass? So, Kajiso, did we answer your question? Yeah, yeah, I think a lot of my questions, like a lot of the questions I had um, answered, you know, down, but yeah, definitely. Thank you. Okay, Simtem Bile? So, instance of, so instance of check is a certain class instance. Is it of a certain type? When do we, when do we use it? We use it before we cast. We use it. If we, we, if we want to check whether we can cast into it, we can use it, okay? Although we don't necessarily use it explicitly in the code quite a lot, but you can use it to check if something is a certain type, okay? Um, okay, so this one, Loyolo, since a static method belong to the class, we don't need to create objects for them to be inherited. Can a class be static? So class can't be static. Uh, methods on a class can be st- static, okay? Um, and we're gonna see something, something very interesting. So, um, so what we will see here is I'm going to add a reference here um, just for something. So I want to add a note here. Um, I want to make it like orangey. Um, so the thing to do is revisit static classes when looking at polymorphism. Okay, this is, this is kind of important here. So I'll put that because it will come into play here because static methods in, acts interesting when we talk about polymorphism, different than normally. Uh, are static method inheritable? Because there's again, there's, there's two questions here about um, static method. It sounds like static methods is a topic that we need to look into. Um, so I'm not going to ask this. What is the instance of? Okay. Okay, cool. Um, so again, interfaces. So that's also, so there's two topics we need to look at. Um, so it's kind of interfaces. Um, Control C, Control E, Control E. So we have static methods. Um, and then the other one is polymorphism.
Okay, cool. Okay, so what did you, what I want you to do, okay, quickly, um, I want you, so these are topics to look at. Um, I want you to share one thing you've learned today on a sticky note. So yeah, so just below this, share one thing you've learned, okay? So put your sticky note below here. Um, so just put your sticky note below this heading here. One thing you've learned today. Okay, so I don't know, there's three of you writing. I don't know where the other ones are. Um, oh, see where you see where. Okay, so um, once you shared what you've learned, just put up your hand. Okay, so I'm waiting for a few more hands. Just put up your hands once you're done. Okay. Be sure, okay, two more hands. Okay, Vio, are you still writing, are you?
Will you can you hear me? Still writing. Yes, I can hear you. Oh, uh, you're still writing. Yes. But Andre, you didn't answer my question. I had another question that you skipped it. Which one is that? The one with two ones. Last one. The, the... Um, so your one was about in interfaces. Yes. Yeah, so we'll get to that. I will, I, I'm not skipping it. I'm just postponing it. Okay. <laughs> This is a living, breathing thing, this. Okay, so you say, what's the difference using inheritance by extending another class and inheritance via interface? What are the limits between class extends another interface and the interface being implemented interface? Okay, so that's, we'll get to that. It's a good question, but I don't want to do it now. Go and see your sticky wheel. You can't see it. I don't know. I'm done. Huh? I'm done. You're done? Yeah. Let me see. The blue one. Oh, I yes. see it now. Okay, because I've, I'm missing some sticky notes. I mean, Okay, so how many, how many sticky notes do you have? Okay, so sim, okay, cool. So let's just quickly start, okay. Um, if each one of you just tell us in words what you've learned as well. Um, so um, Amar, if you can start and you can nominate the next person. Okay, so I learned like, you always need to check um, at the start when you declare, when you declare, um, for instance, you need to check if the if it's the right hierarchy. Like, say for example, if the pizza belongs to the the pizza belongs to the to the or the meat pizza belongs to the pizza. You need to check things like that because if mm. it doesn't, then the the thing will be invalid and the code won't compile. I uh, also learned about that the that you can cast into a subclass or you can cast to a superclass. Yeah, that's what I learned today. Okay, good. You can nominate the next. Um, I think so. Um, I learned costing and it's what can I say? Costing of uh classes and objects. Basically, basically, uh, cost one object into another, but at the same time, you have to look pay attention to its hierarchy. So, in order for for you to do that, you'd have to see if one object is of another object um, or if it is an object of a certain kind, it's a subclass of a certain kind of object. For example, mm -hmm. like uh, pizza and meter. Um, so yeah, that was actually pretty cool because I was actually going over that today early the OCA book um, with the OCA book did. And I think that this, this whole experience, I'm grateful for that. And I nominate Sivu. Sivu is not here. Nominate me. Sivu, oh. I nominate. Oh, okay. Okay, so I learned um, that costing is only um, made valid or possible through inheritance, and that. Um, if we want to access methods, it's going to check um, if the reference type has that method. And then if the reference type doesn't have that method, and then it's not going to be valid. But if both the reference and the object type has it, and then it's gonna prioritize the object types method. So that's what I learned. Okay, so then, yeah? Yeah. Um, that's all I learned. Okay. Good. I nominate. Don't think I nominate. Sim can't Sim. hear. He can't hear us. 
Um, I don't know if I mean I, he was just watching it, it without any sound, so it's probably a bit complex. Okay, so what I want you to do, so how do you how do you like this approach we just did? Is it useful? So you can give me you can give me a stamp there. You can give me a thumbs down, thumbs up. <laughs> like, so there's a little sticky, yellow sticky note, so you can kind of see this. How do you write this approach? There's a sticky note sitting here. So control B, is it, is it something that works for you? Okay, good. Okay, so the approach worked for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so, so we, will, we will extend this out, okay? So we need to look at a few interfaces, might be the next topic we look into, um, polymorphism, heapers and stack. So is this the, the code examples we've done here? Um, was that useful? And the sticky notes to look at the object hierarchy, is that, is that a good analogy for you? Does that work for you? Yeah, it went great. Yes. Uh, it okay. helped a lot. Learning a, a concept and then applying an example afterwards. Okay, is that good? Okay, cool. So I'm going to try to do a few more this week. I will see. It takes me a little bit of time to prepare them. But I will go on with this pizza a little bit. Um, and then we will go from there. But in the meantime, if you learn stuff and you have questions, um, can I ask you to add some questions here? Where should we say? So on this thing, okay? Um, please add your questions here, okay? So as you go through the OCA book and you're studying, then just put your questions. How can I draw a line? Can I draw a line? Oh. I want to put a, something here, okay? So if you put your questions in this area, you can see, can you see that? It's kind of very heading. Oh, look at that. Amazing. I'm learning how to use this tool. Um, so if you have questions, put them over here, okay? On a sticky note. I'm not sharing my screen. Do you, do you see? Do you see where I'm typing? No, not yet. Not yet, because you're not using the thing. Okay, so let's see. Back to the meeting. Share the screen. Um, ping, ping. So what I'm saying is, can you see my screen? You see that? Yeah, we, we see it. Yeah. So, if, so, if, so if, you, if you have questions as you go through the, um, the exam or, or through the book, just add your questions here in this area. Then I will keep an eye out. Um, and then I'll see which other workshops we need to work on. Okay. Um, and any notes or any tips maybe that you want to add, you can do the same. Um, we need to say control C. There we go here, control V. And then please add any tips. Okay, does that make sense? So if you can add some more things here, then we can work out. Uh, so the next things I need to look at, I have an idea. So I think next time we'll look a bit more at interfaces, because interfaces is kind of extension of inheritance. Yeah? Um, and they just allow us a slightly different way to actually do inheritance. Okay. Thank you, people. Have a good afternoon further. I will stop sharing now.
I will upload this this recording soon. Okay. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, people. Stay well. Okay. Bye.